This particular conservatorship is Cher filing for a temporary and permanent conservatorship over her son, Elijah Blue Allman, which is her son with Greg Allman, her, I believe her second husband, second. maybe after Sonny. And she is doing that because she is concerned about his addictions and that he can't manage his finances and or is going to be a danger to himself because there is a distribution that's going to be made from his father's trust to him and that she's worried he's going to buy drugs with that money and kill himself, essentially. So she's worried about that. So she's filing for a conservatorship so she can take control over that money, which is not a significant sum of money in the grand scheme of share. You're right. It's like $120,000 a year, which is not nothing, but it would buy a lot of drugs and Cher wants to protect her son. So it is a little bit different from the other two conservatorships that we've talked about. Those were based on dementia and those were conservatorships for the purpose of doing estate planning for the person with dementia. The proposed conservator wanted the conservatorship in the case of Brian Wilson so that they could do a new health care directive. And in the case of Mavis Leno, so that her husband, Jay, could do a full estate plan, a trust, a will for her. This is different. This is a conservatorship where we're trying to take control of the money in order to protect the person from themselves. Yeah. And it's also different in the sense that he is not agreeable. Elijah Blue is contesting the conservatorship and says that he does not need one, that he has capacity. He is not a danger to himself. He says he has money and he can go buy his own drugs and doesn't need the distribution from his father's trust to buy drugs. So uh, that, that that's not a concern. There's a lot of other family drama involved and he is married and all of that. So there's other kinds of drama involved. So who knows what's going on really, but that's what is in the filings. Okay. Yeah. And so that is different as well in that the proposed conservatee is actually actively opposed to the petition, whereas Mavis Leno and Brian Wilson are not doing that. So their petitions are more likely to be granted relatively quickly. This one, if there's the opposition, that's got to be resolved somehow. And that takes time and attorney's fees. So, you know, we'll keep you posted 